Week six of the NFL season kicks off tonight right here on CBS. The one and four New Orleans Saints hope to pull off an upset against the undefeated Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons this year are one of six perfect teams. Tracy Wolfson, the NFL on CBS's lead game reporter, is on the field at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. Tracy, good morning. All right, what do you think we're going to see tonight? Oh, well, you mentioned the zoo. I think this place is going to be a zoo tonight. It's a rivalry game between these two NFC South teams. And you mentioned it, you know, New Orleans, they come in really struggling right now, one and four, trying to find their way. The Atlanta Falcons undefeated, one of the surprise teams right now in the NFL. And it should be interesting. I think it's going to take a lot to stop this NFC South Atlanta Falcons power offense that they have. Julio Jones just clicked Taking on all cylinders, Devontae Freeman, Matt Ryan, and the defense of the Saints has been struggling. And, you know, the question going in is how will Julio Jones be? He's dealing with a hamstring injury. I was told he will not be on a pitch count tonight. He is expected to play. What about Drew Brees? He's having a tough time so far this season. One of the nicest guys in the NFL. What do you think about him? They say he's 36. Some say that's a little old in the NFL. Are his best days behind him? How no. Tom Brady. Well, I don't, I don't think it's old in the NFL. I mean, we've seen several players around that age perform at a high level. Uh, it is interesting. You mentioned it. He's struggling definitely mightily this year. He's not surrounded by the parts that he used to have. They lost Jimmy Graham and then Drew Brees dealing with the shoulder injury a few weeks ago. I was told he's 100%, but you never really know. And, uh, yeah, a lot going on. They need a win today, but I think his future is definitely questionable with the New Orleans Saints. We just found it. Tom Brady's 38. He is indeed. Playing pretty well for 38. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or yes, for he 28, he's playing well. Is there an, is there an advantage for, for the Saints playing at hometown in the Superdome? You know, there is, but they haven't been as dominant at home as they have been in the past. And this Atlanta team is a different team run by Dan Quinn taking over this year. He just provides this mentality of toughness, play fast, play competitive, never give up. They've won four of their five games in the fourth quarter. They've had to come from behind to win. So this is a completely different Atlanta team that I do not think will be in awe of this stadium, which, by the way, they have played in here before let's talk about Sunday's game Tracy some are calling it deflate gate revenge with the Patriots and the Colts what's what's your take on that you know what I just I look at it as it's in the past that's just a media thing everyone's talking about it going into the game once they kick off it is just another game to me yeah of course Tom Brady he will certainly be playing with a little extra chip on his shoulder but he does we saw it last week in Dallas with the Greg Hardy situation he definitely went out there a little bit more amped so I expect a little bit more hype from this a little bit more hype from Tom Brady but once they kick off it's the Colts trying to win a football game get their season back on track and New England trying to remain undefeated. All right. Yes. Tracy Wilson. Great to see you there. We'll be watching tonight. Thank you so much. And you got we, it, guys. And we are counting down to Thursday night football with the New Orleans Saints and Atlanta Falcons. Coverage begins at 730 Eastern right here on CBS.